Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I've heard concerns from Alberta's ag producers about what the carbon tax will cost them. Unlike this government's record on consulting with ag producers, I hope that there is a plan for consultation with farmers about the new carbon tax. To the Minister of Ag, I know it's been said before, but will you clearly state today that marked fuel for farmers will be exempt from the carbon tax? Ah. Minister of Environment and Parks. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the question. I'm happy to uh, uh, reiterate what we said on November 22, uh, 2015, when we indicated that marked fuel would be uh, exempt. It is uh, all also uh, contained within Bill 20, Mr. Speaker. In addition, we've had a number of conversations already with the agricultural sector, both through uh, uh, the last fall uh, a technical engagement and consultations we did, and uh, since then, the Minister and I uh, have met with a number of different uh, uh, groups and interests, including irrigation districts and others, and uh, we're happy, happy to work with them going forward to reduce their costs and therefore their emissions. First supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that there's a lot of input costs for ag producers on farms that will be affected by your government's carbon tax, and given that the carbon tax will not only impact the cost of fuel to transport fertilizer, but also impact how much fertilizer will cost to produce since fertilizer production uses large amounts of natural gas. To the Minister, have you calculated how much more fertilizer will cost farmers because of your carbon tax? Minister of Environment. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Honourable Member for the question. Of course, last fall's uh, consultation included technical engagements with uh, the fertilizer sector in order to move forward on a series of uh, performance standards for the fertilizer sector as we move them from the specified gas emitters regulation to the uh, performance standard uh, system, Mr. Speaker, which of course we'll phase in in 2018. We're going to make sure that we uh, uh, design those policies in consultation with them so that we do not adversely affect our energy-intensive trade-exposed industries, of which fertilizer is one. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It may not affect the fertilizer industry because they just pass it on to the farmer. But given that there's not much, uh, not just input costs, that uh, also output costs that affect Alberta farmers that will have, they'll have to absorb. And given that when farmers sell their products, they'll have to pay higher transportation costs which means farmers get it both ways, coming and going, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister, how much more will farmers have to pay to export their products because of your government's carbon tax? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And of course, uh, there are a number of different uh, inputs as well as outputs in uh, agricultural production. And uh, so we are working uh, with the sector to ensure that we've got the right set of policies for farmers, ranchers, and others, uh, Mr. Speaker, to ensure that we can move forward on bioenergy and other innovative solutions uh, and work with the agricultural sector, Mr. Speaker. Uh, uh, this has formed a, a large part of our consultations to date and will continue to do so. Thank you.